Hey y'all, and welcome to our channel. I'm D. And I'm Six. And we're here to give you your video reaction. Big. Hey, Six. Hey, girl. How you doing, girl? Great. What's girl. going on? So this video I got today, I'm over here like, boy, it's getting real out here. <laughs> These women out here, fellas, Y'all got to do better, okay? Y'all got to do better. I, I'm not, I, I ain't going to say too much because I want us to just look at this. But this type of stuff is actually very common. And I don't know who's more wrong. Is it the women that are doing it? Or is it the men that participate in it and enable it? I ain't going to say too much. I'm just going to roll the clip. <laughs> Let me go to the post so we can get the, oh, shoot. Let me uh go to the post so we can get the, the full. <laughs> Both so fun. Come along with me. So date number one, we went to an axe throwing center. Oh, wait. It was super fun and I actually beat him. Well, actually he won. Okay. So the very beginning of the cutout, but she's like, so with no shame, keep my she on TikTok. Like, so I'm gonna tell you about two dates I had in 24 hours. That's how she starts the video. Wow. On one game and I won two. He brought me sunflowers, which was super cute. Afterwards, we kept the fun going and went to this bar that had a bunch of games. So this was my first time going axe throwing or doing anything like that. And it was actually a really good time. We played beer pong with a couple that was there and we completely annihilated them. I hadn't played beer pong in years, so that was really fun. On to date number two. This is usually more my vibe. We went to this really nice Italian restaurant. I love the decor and ambiance here. This is a perfect place for a solo date. The pizza was absolutely incredible. You know you're bougie when you get pear on your pizza, but you have to try it if you like sweet and savory. So you have to pass this fairy garden in order to get to your car and it's so pretty. You can have dinner out there as well and it just looks so magical. Afterwards, we walked across the street to have a post-dinner drink. It was pretty lively for a restaurant at 10 p.m., which was really nice. My date brought me a bottle of wine, which is my favorite, 10 out of 10. Went on two dates in 24 hours and they were both so fun. Come along with me. Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's how y'all doing it out in these streets now? <laughs> Lord Sis, have mercy. She's got it on a schedule. She's like, okay, uh, I got one day at 1 p.m. and one at 7 p.m. And all right, let, let's just have the conversation. Fellas, don't go out sad like this. I'm about to help me and D gonna help y'all. D, let's start give we're gonna give them some advice on how to avoid this happening to you. I know the first piece of advice. The first piece of advice is stop. Okay. What I noticed that happens out in the dating world is men meet a woman and they just go straight to, I, I want to take you out. You need to have several phone conversations before you go to expensive dinners and you go into this place and that place. Because as you see, she referred to this as fun. Not that she's intentionally dating for the purpose of marriage and to start a family and for commitment. She's like, this was fun on someone else's dime. These are probably guys who were hoping to either, you know, get some or thinking that she was genuinely interested. And the whole time, sis looking at this as... I can almost guarantee you that them fellas probably met her, got her number, and was like, oh, I'm going to take you out. Probably did not take no time to talk on the phone. Like, people don't want to do that no more. Like, have a phone. Like, ask her some questions. Like, get in her head. Like, the fact that women are out here able to set their dates up and got y'all spending money, spending time with them, bonding with them, you know, building um, soul ties and all that. Like, Based off of what I can almost guarantee you that these men she went on these dates with had no idea that she was just doing this for fun. To me, if I'm a guy, right. I'm not spending my heart. Like to me, I'd rather just be like, listen, you if you ain't looking for commitment, what is going to take to get some of that? 
You know what I'm saying? I don't understand this in between. If I was a guy and I feel like, hey, I just want to smash, I would just be like, how much? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if, if you a guy that really wants the commitment, why are you just taking these women out and they putting y'all on a schedule and got you taking them out for Italian mm -hmm. dinners and wine? Like, And then the part that's sending me, she put this on TikTok. Y'all stop letting these, you know what? Y'all cannot you see, let me have y'all all on TikTok looking crazy like this. Go ahead, Danica, because this, I, I don't know. This the problem. This is why you have so many guys out here today like, you know what? I'm not doing this. This is why you have guys saying, I'm just going to take a bitch to the coffee shop, you know? Yeah. You get yeah. this type of behavior is making men do the the very least, do the yeah. bare minimum because it's like, look, a lot of y'all are not even serious yet. You want me to go above and beyond for you, you know. And so, what you're starting to see is a lot of guys say, "Hey, to avoid having my time wasted, my money wasted, and my my heart shattered or broken, let's do something <laughs> to where I don't have to do too much of an investment." And you have girls out here like, well, you guys are just so cheap and you guys just don't know how to be men anymore. And you guys this and you guys that. And it's like, no, look at look at how y'all take advantage or take for granted what a guy does. And then what does he get in exchange? Uh, oh, thank you. And then you go into your house and then probably get ready for your next date. You. Probably huh? barely a thank you. She probably didn't even say thank you. Yes, probably not. Like I was old this. I'm a prize. Yeah, you know, I'm because I'm breathing. Man, I'm telling you. And, and then once again, we wonder why a lot of guys are choosing to do things that are not on, you know, the, these grand scales that we're expecting them to. Like, for what? I don't get yeah. commitment. I don't get sex. I don't get love. I don't get respect even. Like, I'm just a fun time. I doubt she even remembers these guys' names. Right. Facts. And you know what, Danica, you got a point there. I didn't even think about that element of it. Oh, my God. You're right. That is the other side of these men don't want to do nothing. That's the other side of it. From the woman's perspective, it's this entitled like, oh, I gave you my number. So you need to go spend a few hundred dollars and take me out. That's her point of view. Right. That you should go spend hundreds of dollars of your hard earned money to take me out. She over there ordering wine, pizza, pasta. God damn, she ordered an appetizer <laughs> before dinner drinks, during dinner drinks, after dinner drinks, dessert. She taking and, a to-go bag. That and is got a side power. Right, right. And imagine, imagine being the guy that took her on the date and you scrolling TikTok and you see the girl. You're like, oh, that shorty I was on a date with. And then you see her on TikTok going on two dates in one day come along with me it's the it's the no shame part for me yes. like sis like do women not understand this is why i think women are slow because <laughs> how are you shooting yourself in the foot like this how can, and this is why women got to hold each other accountable because how can y'all be on the internet talking about these men don't do this these men don't do that yet you see your female counterparts <laughs> literally making a mockery out of men spending a hard earned money and their time trying to date them, trying to do the right thing. And the women in the comments, oh, the comments was terrible. They talking about, yes, a queen, as you should. Get it, girl. Uh, I, I, I want to be like you when I grow up. They egging it on. And I'm like, y'all y'all literally ruin things for yourselves. Y'all all in the comments hyping her up. And then tomorrow, y'all will be on the internet talking about how men ain't no good, men ain't ish, men are cheap. If I was that guy, I would be done after that. I saw a guy make a post on Facebook, and this is all. Now, this post ended up going viral. Of course. And there ended up being like hundreds of comments of women mad. Okay. And the post said only a woman who is interested in committing to me through marriage is getting any of my money or resources. Okay, that's what he said. He did not say, I'm never spending no money on my woman. I'm never providing for my woman. He said that if the woman is not there to be 
uh, monogamously committed to him. He ain't spending his money and resources. The women was in the comments so mad. And I'm reading what he wrote and I'm like, how are y'all mad at this? As he should. Why would you as a man, why are y'all just meeting these girls and the next day taking them out for these? I don't know if you understand. These dates she show costs. That stuff ain't cheap. So I'm like, how are y'all mad because a man is saying that he don't want to break bread on you unless you're interested? He did not say right. I won't do it until you're my wife. He's yeah, saying yeah. he wants a I'm mutual not, interest. I'm not. If you ain't trying to be my wife, if you're not trying to court with me to commit to me, what do I look like spending my money and my resources? I. This is why I think that holes are necessary. Because to me, if she don't want to commit to you and be your wife, you better off just going out and paying for some somewhere, period. Because, yeah, I'm not going to be out here spending my money, just taking, her, taking you out on dates and having to waste my time just to smash. I might as well just give you the money and save my time. And we can just get to it. Right. But right. I could not believe the women were mad. Like, basically, y'all are mad because you're saying that the man should still break bread, even if the girl is going out with him just for fun, like Shardy in the video. Right, right. for TikTok, TikTok folks. You know, and so I, I just don't understand how that's an issue. Uh, him saying that, hey, I, I only want to do this for some woman that shows me mutual interest. Like, that's, that's common sense. Like, everybody should do that. But the way that we're set up today is like, as women, we're entitled to that. You know, mm -hmm. regardless. And this is why a lot of men are bowing out from getting married and, you know, getting to relationships because a lot of females, they're not even really looking for those things anyway. Yeah. I'm they just like looking for like a free I'm meal. Right. I, I need a free meal, a free date, a, a fun time, and a TikTok viral post. You know? Yeah. And so this is what he we're over doing there, today. He over there like, oh, she's so beautiful. She's so fine. I'm going to take her out. I'm going to do this for her. He he doing all that in his mind and in her mind, she like, oh, I get to go eat for free. Yeah. And Dang. also say that these men don't have marriage on their minds. You know, but now mean? they don't. So now that they see you like, on oh, TikTok doing that, now they don't men. got marriage on their mind. Hold on, you went silent. I don't hear you anymore, Six. Can you hear they me? don't have they don't have oh. marriage on their mind now? There's no marriage on their mind now. Now that she got him on TikTok, I would be Punch in the air if I was buddy that took her on that date, and then I'm scrolling TikTok and I see her making a mockery out of me. Girl, I would be, I'll plunk her ass in the forehead. Ladies, you shoot yourself in the foot. This is why I say all the time please look at yourself and how you're contributing to your circumstance. Stuff like that is going to have you out here messed up, but you ain't here for me. What do I know? Right. Anything else you want to add, D? Because, honey, I, I ain't going to know say Um, well, I just want to say that, you know, a lot of guys may have marriage on their brains as far as, you know, settling down and everything of that sort, as far as dating these women and showing them interest. But look at how we treat men. We can very much so be turning them off and away from those things based upon our treatment of them. Um, so it's just something that we all need to take into consideration and into account and really highlight and self-reflect on what we're doing that may be contributing to us not getting the desired results. Mm -hmm. no. Facts. Y'all let us know your thoughts in the comments. Fellas, are y'all out here going outside like that? Ladies, do you stand her? Do you think she's a queen for this? Y'all tell us your thoughts. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one.